Good morning. It is Wednesday, and we are going to begin a different book now, uh, move aside to a different author, uh, the Apostle John. One of the, uh, he's considered the beloved of Jesus. And John wrote the book of Gospel of John, along with 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, along with the uh, Apocalypse, the book of Revelation. So we're going to look at the, uh, the book of John, starting in uh, chapter 1, verses 1 through 5 today. And the title is The Eternal Word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And he was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. This is the foundation of our faith, the creation, and we find in Genesis, um, where God created this whole world, this whole universe. God made everything we see. He made everything that is seen out of what is unseen. And the miracle of uh, creation. And in the beginning, before we were born, before this world existed, God existed. God is eternal. He's uh, everlasting. He's the first and the last, the beginning and the end. And uh, that's something that is very difficult to wrap our minds around because we think everything has to have a beginning and an ending. But the eternal God has no beginning and no ending. He always was. And uh, he's eternal. And so he's teaching us here, the Apostle John, that Christ is the Word, the Logos of God, L-O-G-O-S, the Greek word, Logos of God. And he is present, the second person of the Trinity, in the creation where it says in Genesis, let us create man in our own image, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, present in creation in the book of Genesis. And now uh, the Apostle is clarifying and bringing into uh, full understanding again that in the beginning was Jesus. Jesus was the beginning. And the Word, uh, who is Jesus, was with God, and the Word was God. Not a God or um, less than God, but equal to God. Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Beginning and the end. He is the Word. He is God incarnate. The Jehovah Witnesses in the New World Translation, which is a cultic uh, group, says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was a God. They just change that one little word to bring in the heresy of, uh, of um, the Jehovah Witness. But he said he's, he was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. Um, Jesus is the one, the vessel that was used in creation, and everything was brought through him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. In other words, everything that exists is because of Christ. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. So Christ is, he said, I am the way in John 14, 6. I am the truth, I am the life. No man comes to the Father but through me. He also says, you don't come to me, you won't come to me that you might have life. He also says, I have come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Jesus also tells us, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. So life is only available and made possible through the person of Jesus Christ. And he says also, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did, did not comprehend it. So here we have the light of God, and you are representing the light of God as a Christian. Um, we have the light of God in us. The countenance that we show forth expresses that light that's tangibly in us. Uh, we are to be uh, light on a hill. Uh, we are to not cover our light with a basket to be hid, but to, light, to let our light so shine among men that they might see our good deeds and honor and glorify our Father which is in heaven. And so uh, without Christ, there'd be no life. Without Christ, there would only be darkness. But because of Christ, we have life eternal and we have this uh, privilege to walk in the light as children of the light. If we walk in the light as he's in the light, 
we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanses us from all sin, and that's impossible without His light. God bless you guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow.